Hi, Kevin Blanche, StuccoDamage.com. I'm replacing a ceiling as it's caving in. For all you people that have sagging ceilings, this is sheetrock in 1975 with a plastering product over the pot, top of it, which had heat wire in it. They're called sculptured ceilings. A guy named Don Hall had a patent in our area on them. But it's been sagging for years and years and years and years. And they wait and wait while the living room come down. If you have anything, if any of you people that have had a ceiling come down, you know it's like a nuclear bomb going off. It's disaster. The insulation flies everywhere. A disaster. So this thing was hanging down this far. I'm going to show you how we've we repaired them and fixed them. You can see how I've got the washers and the screws and the nails all over in there. First, you got to find the trusses. So you get up in the attic, find trusses. These are 24 inch on center, running this way. So once you get the first one, you know, you can go. So I'll show you how I'm doing this. These are a beast. Okay. I built me a little platform with a 2x4, two 2x2 by four, two by two up there. And I jacked them up. I mean, this is it's pretty crazy. you got to be dynamic, but it works. This is my auto jack from my truck. And my old beer. 92 today. Chevy, piece of shit. Anyway, you slowly jack them up piece by piece. I don't like to use screws. Everybody says, oh, them grabbers. I'm not a big one of grabbers. I like to use the old fashioned 16 penny nails. I used to like, I like metal washers and I like plastic washers either. Granted, they'll last 10, 15, 20 years but they dry out and fracture. But anyway, these things have got a lot of weight to them. Like I said, when you see those things, you know, even my trained eye, I went into that other room and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, it ain't that bad. It's hanging out four or five inches. It's just so gradual, you don't see it. Like I said, in their living room, it come down. And when they, if you've ever been in one of these houses when they come down. Now, if it's water damage that's creating it to come down, which in a lot of cases is, get your roof or hand and get it fixed. And 90% of the time, it's where the L metal was improperly applied. That L metal wasn't plastered down with the, I like to use the Grundy's tar, I trial it all the way up on both edges, so it leaks up in there, if you get water in there, but this one, this was just pure gravity over time, this house built in 1975, and so as it slowly comes down, they're savable, you'll get drywall, they've had drywallers, all kinds of morons in here, no expertise, in can't be saved, paramount, but they can be saved. So you do it, you jack them up piece by piece, and as you go, I'm using these washers. I'm using 16 penny nails. Boom. Then I'll plaster it back together. Now these sculpture ceilings take a trained, very skilled plaster to do. There ain't no drywall putting these back together. But there's plenty of drywall ceilings, you can save them. The drywall has little teeny nails in them, but if they're sagging, like I said, build your little jack. I'm just using my car jack. Works great. Slowly jack it up, put the nail in. As it gets up there, put it in a little further, put it in a little farther, and the plaster over them. You save these things. Okay, let's go back in this other room. See that line where it's meeting the thing? You can see the big sag. And you can see these. I use that rope. Let me show you some how far this thing was sagging down. That's my guide. That's how far it was down. Four or five inches. I said then I'll just plaster in your holes, paint it. Kevin Blanche, stuccodamage.com, February 2011.